Hi everybody, this is Connie and welcome back to Paranormal Romance Obsession. And today we are starting a new series. It's actually going to be two series by the time we're done. But I'm talking about the author Patricia Briggs and she, it, this is one of my favorite series ever, ever. I just finished reading all of these so I'm pretty clear on what happens in each one now. But um, so today's video is going to be a bit longer because so, I'm going to talk about the first um, chat or the first book, and I'm going to tell you all about Patty. But this is the only time I'm going to tell you everything about Patty. I will refer back to this video about um, if you want to know more about her. Here is her picture. Okay, so let's just get started since this is going to take a little bit longer. Patricia Briggs, the number one New York Times best-selling author of the Mercy Thompson series, lives in Washington State with her husband, children, and a small herd of horses. She has written 17 novels to date. Briggs began her career writing traditional fantasy novels, the first of which was published by Ace Books in 1993 and shifted gears in 2006 to write urban fantasy. In fall 2010, Patricia made another foray into traditional fantasy when Ace published a revised version of her very first book, Masks. And it's never before published sequel, Wolfsbane, both of which debuted on the New York Times bestseller list for mass market fiction. In 2006, Ace Brooks published Moon Called, the first book in her number one New York Times best-selling and signature series about Mercy Thompson. The non-stop adventure left readers wanting more, and word of this exciting new urban fantasy series about a shape-shifting mechanic spread quickly. Bloodbound, 2007, the second book in the series, debuted at number 12 on the New York Times bestseller list. After incredible success of Iron Kiss, which landed at number one on the New York Times list, the Mercy Thompson saga, con saga continued to win the hearts of readers and grow in popularity with the release of each book. Bone Crossed, the fourth book in the series and first to be published in hardcover, debuted at number three on the New York Times hardcover bestseller list, where it stayed for four weeks. The most recent hardcover, Silverborn, debuted at number one on the New York Times hardcover bestseller list and stayed on the printed list for a total of three weeks. Briggs also writes the Alpha and Omega series, which are set in the same world as the Mercy Thompson novels. What began as the novella Alpha and Omega in an anthology, anthology called On the Prowl was then expanded into a full new series. The subsequent books were Cry Wolf and Hunting Ground, both on the New York Times bestseller list. The third book of the Alpha and Omega series is Fair Game and debuted at number four on the New York Times bestseller list. For more information about Patricia Briggs and her marvelous novels, feel free to visit the author on the web at www.patriciabriggs.com. She is a... I have not read her fantasy novels at all because I'm not a huge fan of those. But um, I have read all of her, I'm up to date on all of her books, her uh, urban fantasy books. So here we go. We are going to talk about Moon Called today. And this is her first book. And when did she say that was? In 2006 that was published. Okay, Moon Called. So my editor called and said, hey, Patty, you know those books you like? The modern paranormal fantasy with vampires and werewolves? And I found myself writing two of them. Since I was pretty burned out from writing Raven Strike in a very short time, it seemed like it might be better answer to write to writer's funk than just taking time off, especially since it paid better than vacationing. Moon Called is the beginning of the story of Mercedes Thompson, a coyote shapeshifter who is also a pretty decent mechanic. Mercy's world looks a lot like ours, except for the other world is beginning to be forced out of hiding by our modern technologies. 
Mercy shares her back fence with the local alpha werewolf and works evenings on the Vampire Stefan's VW bus. She's safe and content, which doesn't make a very interesting story, does it? So, of course, matters begin to change on the first page. In this book, Mercy faces trolls and gremlins, old boyfriends and older vampires. I hope you enjoy her story. All right, so that was book number one. Next time, we will talk about Bloodbound. So I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.